your boy Boot coming at you all with a brand new Supreme Mason Bardella collection. Oh no! It's time to crash out over some Supreme. We got some crazy items out of this collection. Right away, you guys gotta let me know your favorite items, what you're planning on going for, and just what you think of the collection as a whole. Maybe even drop a like. Today, I just wanna take a look at this whole collection. There is a humongous lookbook ahead of us, so strap in, man, get some water, maybe some popcorn. Fuck it, Papa Mari, bro, we're turning up this week. This is gonna be a super fun time. I'm super stoked, hopefully you guys are as well. Without further ado, let's just start off this video because we have a ton of stuff to go over today. I do wanna remind you guys, if you wanna join my Discord group browser, I bring it up every week. You guys constantly see me in there talking to the fellas who have been going ape shit. They've been going banana. I've literally seen everybody has liked this collection. Have one of our slot providers run a bot for you and I'll also be doing a full write up of all my favorite items. It's gonna be a big one because there's a ton of stuff just in this collection. We haven't even seen the full week. Hit the top link in the comments, get a free seven day trial and let's hop into this lookbook. Starting it off, we have this huge faux fur jacket. My, dude, that's a crazy combination. He got the bread fours on while he's rocking the fucking Margiela. Like, that's some New York shit if I've ever seen it. Of course, underneath, you got the box logo. Bro. I, I Honestly, I hope I don't see people in Soho and shit rocking this exact same outfit. Because it is a little weird, I'm not going to lie. The faux fur with the box logo and some Jordans, it's just a little bizarre to me. Regardless, this is a really cool jacket. You got a ton of different pelts all over it. It looks like of different animals. I feel like I see a little bit of rabbit over there. Maybe like a little wolf. I don't know. Just making this up. Maybe some fox. Fuck it. I'm just throwing shit out there. It looks cool though. I like it's like a patchwork look to it. It's a weird combo. I don't know about this outfit, but uh, the jacket itself is pretty sick. It's obviously a terrible season for it, but we'll allow it. I'm sure this is reference to a lot of older Mesa Margiela stuff. We're always seeing Supreme dig into the archives with all these high luxury brand collabs. It's something I enjoy out of them a lot. Although, let me make this point. This is Mesa Margiela 6, which is a cheaper line of Margiela. Um, so maybe have your own opinion of that. You will. For me, I'm glad about it, man, because that means the retails aren't gonna be as expensive. This jacket though, probably looking over a thousand bucks easily. Um, really cool. It looks like there's like a little cat face in here, bro. RIP that kitty. It looks like a bear up here. I don't know what's going on with this jacket. Let's keep it moving. Um, next up, we got some suit pieces. I did not know they offered this in white. Um, the suit's not doing a ton for me. Um, I feel like it's pretty basic, like plain, nothing too extraordinary about it. I think the JPG suit they did was 10 times better. I'll forever regret not getting those cargo pants. Even the Yoji Yamamoto collection, I thought it was just a more interesting suit this one doesn't do much for me but we also have a nice little cam cap and i think these cam caps are pretty sick my boy does make this shit look nice though i can't lie but just out of all the items of this collection i feel like it's a little more dull more passable um and here we have the other version of the suit you got the margella logo down by the cuffs it doesn't look that great fitting i mean i'm sure you gotta get a size i don't know it's kind of boring to me although the vest it i mean a margella vest of course someone's gonna be like it's pretty cool but at the end of the day it's not doing a lot next up we have one of the more unique items from this collection that doesn't necessarily feel Margella, but I think it's a really cool item with some history to it. Um, so this is a ton of different Supreme Varsities from years past. You guys might know Margella's history better than I do. Is this some kind of reference to a Varsity they've created? Because I don't know personally, but I can tell you for a fact what I do know, and there are some sick ass older Supreme Varsities on this. That yellow hit, I think it's like a 2006, it's like an early 2000s Varsity, a pretty obscure one. Um, I've seen a lot of people freaking out with the FTP hit, which is funny, but no, it's not a nod to FTP. Um, they made this varsity design before FTP even existed. On the back side, you got like the Motion logo um, and just a couple other Supreme Team logos. This is a really cool one. I don't see myself buying it just because I don't know, it is a little bit unwearable. It gives me super needles vibes, man. Like it, it feels like a needles item. I love seeing these cut and sew items. Supreme has kind of started to bring out a little bit more um, of different years past designs. We saw them do the same concept with that denim set. We also saw them do um, a cut and sew long sleeve that had a couple different past designs. I think it's so cool when Supreme does that. I would love to see them continue to do it. Next up, we got this zip up jacket with almost like a glossy or like a wax look to it. I'm not fully positive what the material is on this, um, but I think it's actually really nice. Honestly, it reminds me of like something that's just been ran over several times in the middle of the road. My boy literally looks like a mannequin, bro. Like, is this even a real person? This looks like an AI generated photo. Hi, how are you? Um, but I do think the full set's really cool. I actually have a pair of pants from Fugazi they did with Unsound Rags. It's a very similar theme to these pants, so I think it's gonna be skippable. But man, I wish I could go in store because I really think these might actually pop. Like they may actually look really cool on the shelf. It's kind of hard to pick up in these photos if these are gonna have a super shine to them, which I wouldn't really love. Or if it's a more dull item, because like in this outfit, it looks really nice. I'm looking, I feel like the jacket's denim. I'm gonna guess this is wax. It's looking like a wax jacket, wax pants, which I enjoy. I, 
I have no need for these, but I fucking want them, bro. Like, I don't know. I think these are really cool. Uh, moving on, we got the Margella oh, dog. Uh, I guess there's also a t-shirt, but look at the dog. Come on, bro. Uh, nah, this is actually a really cool shirt. Um, obviously bringing out the liquid blue um, skulls design. I, this is such a cool version of it, too. I've never seen this iteration. Um, obviously, we saw Supreme doing the green colorway of this skulls t-shirt. Can we just talk about how after Supreme did that liquid blue collaboration, like, that whole print just started popping so hard. Um, they low-key brought it back. I gotta give props. Obviously, 3-6 Mafia rocked it back in the day for the Stay Fly video. Shout out Juicy J. Uh, one of my favorite songs back in elementary school. Man, this is a cool shirt. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. It looks a little oversized, I believe it is. But I think it's cool. I, I do enjoy it. Here we have this padded button-up. Um, now, I know my skinny ass be needing this. This is actually very interesting timing for this style item. I believe I have seen Supreme do padded shirts like this before. Um, but we've just seen like the whole Tizo touchdown pads. Um, I feel like Travis is starting to rock those now. Kanye's even rocking them. So the whole like kind of padded look, it's pretty in currently. So this is a well-timed item. And I really like this stripe design on it. Um, I do think this is the style of item. I think looks really cool. But if I actually wore it myself, it would just fit goofy. Like, I don't know, man. Um, um, I do really enjoy these shirts though, especially this one, man. I kind of wish we got some pants with it. I know there's some shorts, um, but here we have the box logo, man. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, the box logo is really cool on this. I'm sure some of you guys are going to hate it. And that's okay if you do, but you have to admit, at least Supreme's being experimental. Um, I definitely prefer this over just, I don't know, like another really boring box logo we've seen before. Honestly, I think the worst part about this photo is this man's atrocious goatee. What the fuck is that shit? But um, yeah, my boy's looking at him a little sus, but I really like this wax look, man. I think the hoodie looks really cool. They gave it the tonal look as well. And these pants, the more I look at them, I'm like, oh, do I do it? They're going to be overpriced for no reason. Um, but damn, is this like reversible? This is the reverse side of it. And you get the box logo on the back, which looks a little weird. I really do like this hoodie though. Um, I'm not even sure it's going to be the most popular item in this collection. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, obviously, it's got the box logo hype to it, but I don't know. There's some way cooler shit coming out of this collab. The white one's a lot more basic. If you wanted the not so dirty look, um, the waxed black one has, definitely go for the white, but you're going to get it dirty regardless. And oh my lordy, bro, this is my favorite item. That's why I had to throw on the zip up. Supreme, when they do these collections, just be bringing out the logos on the hood because we actually got the skulls design on the inside of this hood, which means when you have that bitch unzipped, we'll just have that skulls hit back here, which I think is going to look really cool. I'd love to see it in hand, but I think it's going to especially pop on this green one, man. I hate to say it, but oh my God, this green is definitely my favorite. Got the yellow hit as well. Just a bunch of layered prints on top of each other. I was seeing people calling this like the Aeropostale hoodie, which that hurt my fucking soul, but you're low-key right fuck you though don't ever call this shit that again that's probably my favorite item out of the collection um we also got these pants in the white colorway it's hard to call them white even they're more of a gray um but i do like the black waxed a little more those aren't bad though um the box logo t-shirt is fucking hilarious it makes a lot more sense with that deck we got recently i don't know if you guys remember where it just had a weird photo of a box logo t-shirt similar to this i feel like i've just seen a lot of like kind of jokes about box logo t-shirts being printed on a t-shirt similar to this um so it's cool to see some Supreme actually do it and I think they pulled it off really well. I actually think this is gonna look pretty cool on body. It almost has like a layering effect even. Like if you look at the ends of the cuffs and stuff, it's a cool shirt bro. Honestly, I really enjoy this tee. I would go for one. Maybe I'll do it. I'm not quite positive what I'm gonna go for yet, but um, I am thinking about I might cop one of those t-shirts. Now, obviously, all of the hype beast boys that just don't really do the whole fashion thing are just going to clown this. Like, it's a nightgown, my guy. What the fuck are we doing? Um, I'm guessing this has layering purposes to it. Or, I don't know, maybe you even, like, cut it in half as one of the homies was saying in my group and turn it into two. I have no idea. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, are me and the homies supposed to link up and do the human centipede wearing this from two directions while we scissor? Is that what you want, Supreme? Because I'll do it. I'm so sorry, kind of. Like, I'll fucking do it, bro. I'll lock the fuck in if I got to. I don't know what to say about this, bro. Let's just keep it moving. Pretty crazy one. But I do really like that they actually brought out some Hanes for this collection. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So he double layered it, right? That's what... So is that what you're supposed to do? You, like, layer it once and then put your feet through and bring it back up again like a... I think this guy helped me solve it. It looks pretty cool with the double layered. I can't lie. Especially with the two logos popping through each other. Next up... 
Hmm, my freaks are out, bro. Come on, we got the hair, we got the wig. Um, this one's pretty funny. I have seen Margiela does have some wigs, so that makes this make a little bit of sense. And this also kind of reminds me um, of like the invites Margiela would do to a lot of his shows. He's pretty famous for those. Like you've probably seen them on your Explore page or some shit. They're posted constantly. All the weird little things he would have for invites to all of his shows. And I know you guys are thinking it, so how many likes we gotta do, boys? I gotta see retail first. This is some $248 wig. Like, fuck it, we're not doing it. But hey, maybe this is my hair. Y'all know I used to donate my hair. You never know. No, maybe it made its way over to Supreme Margella and they're just making money off me now. I, I would certainly hope not, but um, yeah, this is a really funny one, dude. I, I kind of like it. I honestly think it's pretty cool. Next up, we got this lock. It's supposed to be for like a bike or something, but I saw in an earlier slide a dude just wearing it. Um, I'm not going to be doing that. Honestly, this one lost me a little bit. Um, I'm guessing this has to be some kind of Margella bag that's existed back in the day, which is fine, but I think they could have done something cooler or just given us another accessory. Um, like I just mentioned, Mason Margella has a bunch of pretty obscure accessories. I kind of would have liked to see one besides that. And then we got the skate deck, which is also a pretty neat one. It's not the most inventive idea we've seen. I feel like the whole concept of like, um, you have to wear something in to reveal the actual design. It's It's been kind of ran through by this point, but nonetheless, I don't think Supreme's ever done it on a deck. So I'll give it to him. It's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna pass on it. Um, but yeah, that about does it for this lookbook. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about this wallet, man. I was just scrolling through the items. This wallet is really fun. Um, now, if you're an OG on Grail, you certainly know the old Bill wallet um, from Margella that had, like, I think the most likes of any Grailed listing. It had been up there. It probably still is up there um, for years on years on years. It's just literally like a banknote uh, Margella wallet, very similar to this style. It got a lot of popularity just because of how long it had been up on Grailed for some outlandish price. Seeing them use a Supreme in-store receipt, I think that's hilarious, man. Um, I don't really have a need for it, and I do think it's probably going to be expensive seeing as it's a leather wallet. But, man, I do think it will sell out. I wish I could go buy one, but I'd rather waste my money on some of this other stuff. I did notice, taking a closer look at it, um, this is a 2018 receipt. And there's some funny items on here. You got the Mesh Arc logo tee, Diamonds tee, and then the finest quality briefs. Um, I'd be curious to see the full set of items from that receipt. Very, very clever idea right here, man. Supreme, I think, killed it on some of the uniqueness with this collection. We also got a painted camp cap, which I also really did enjoy. I think the black one might do well with the Margella hit on the back. Let me know some of your guys' favorite items out of this collection. For me, personally, I really think that zip-up, I know it's kind of basic, but I don't know, it's something I see myself wearing the most. I do really like the Supreme zip-ups feel and just how they fit. And that green colorway is just calling me, man. Um, I might get one of the t-shirts as well. I would really enjoy getting one of the box logos just to show off to you guys. Maybe I'd even wear it, because I kind of like the worn look of that white box logo tee. I am counting on a lot of these items not being as expensive. I do think we're going to get a lot of Supreme retails with a bit of a designer additional cost. Let me know what you guys think of this full collection. It's Banner Boy Boone. I will be covering the full drop list with retails when we get them. Um, so feel free to drop us up. You made it this far. My Brick Soldier. My Mason Margella, Marshall Mathers. Man, come on. We out here. I'm so excited for this week. It's going to be a fun one on the website. Get ready, y'all. It's Boy Boone. I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.